Today we're going to talk about work positioning. You could think of it as like a relationship between you and the tree. The tree will tell you what you're going to be able to do. So say it's a like tall slender tree, you know work positioning might be a lot easier. You just use your rope and maybe a lanyard. But if it's a broad canopy tree, you might have to use a bunch of different things. Something like maybe a redirect, the way you use your lanyard, a high tie-in point, um, and, and so when you're going to do your work position, so you can do it comfortably without being in danger. So today we're going to go over some of those things, um, some of the things that you can use in work positioning. Let's get to it. Now that I'm at the top of the canopy where I planned my, my final tie-in is going to be, what I've done is I've placed my rope over a center stem and I have two side branches and then other branches if, if one of these were to fail, I would drop to the next one and then the next one. That's more of a so solid connection and I'm pretty high up in the air. Now, the, the stem that I'm on, it has a lean that's going away from where I plan on going. I plan on walking on that side over there. So, but I did like it because it's a, a nice good point, point and if I were gonna work the tree, I could go to that side later and, and get it, um, you know, what I need to do. So for now, I'm going to use this side as my tie-in. So what I'll do is I'll get my butterfly set up. Right here. And I'll use an ultra link to secure my, my system. Go this direction here. Get it locked in place. There. So now I'm gonna, I got a lot of slack in here. Let me tend my line here real quick. Okay. I'm gonna pull this up. And what I wanna do is make sure my system's all set and ready. Okay. This is, with an ultra link, this is wrong. You wanna, Make sure that the, the other side is in place like there. And I also, also what I could do with the ultra link, I could place the thimble in it or the sheath. Let me get the sheath real quick. Put the sheath in place. All right. Now, now I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna weight my line. And once I wait my line, I'm gonna make sure that it's all tight and ready to go. And then I'll move on to the next section. So this is really kind of close, but what I plan on doing is throwing my line over here and then probably going over to that branch there. So now that's gonna give me a high tie-on point if I plan on working over that way. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can get set up here with my rope. So don't flip and fall. Yeah, that's better. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna back off some slack here. And I'll rest here. And then I'll throw my rope over here, my tail and my running end. All right, so now I'll just throw that over that way for now. And I'll disconnect this part, my climbing system here. And I'll send it over that branch. All right. All right, now connect it, and I'm gonna load it. And now I'll be more on to this. So I have to take the slack out of my line until I'm weighted.
All right, now my lines are weighted. Now disconnect my lanyard. And I'll pull it through. There we go. There. Clip my lanyard back on. Now I'll make my way this way. Let's see. All right. So now what I'll do, now that I'm here, that one, that branch right there would be perfect to help me walk out that way even further. So I'll set my lanyard up. Good, get it tight. All right, here we go. And then I'll throw this line over that branch. Let's see here. I'll just use a tiny little knot so I can have a little bit of weight. All right, Let's see. All right, right over there. All right, so what I plan on doing is sending my system over that limb. So I'm gonna have to account for slack in my line. Let's see right here, all right. I want to make sure that my system's not going to get stuck. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to put a little bit of slack in my line and now I'm full on on my lanyard. Okay. And you want to tie like a, a butterfly or a slip knot. Maybe a slip knot would be better than a butterfly because you're gonna have to, you don't want it to be too big, right? Let me see. Okay, and then you're gonna capture your, your carabiner in that. And now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pull it through. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is as I pull it over, I'm gonna whip it a little so I don't get caught on anything, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, there I go, now it's over and I got it back to myself. Now what I'll do, disconnect that, reconnect back to myself, and now I'm gonna wait my line. Now that I'm on that, and see that's, that's a pretty decent sized branch, you know? So that should give me a whole heck of a lot of stability. Let me see, now that I wait on my line, now a little bit more weight, all right, okay. Okay, now that I got weight on my line, I'm gonna disconnect my lanyard. And I'll set up for the next one. Now that I have my second redirect, it actually puts my rope in a different angle. So I started it over there, and if I just walked this way and I'm on this branch, now my, my pendulum's really um, horizontal, but having these two redirects put my pendulum really vertical. And then at the same time, what it has done it, is it put me at this kind of an angle. So instead of walking straight out and being pulled toward back that lean over there, now I'm on a side. 
So some people really like to be on the side of a branch when they're working. So if I'm on the side here, I can walk out on a limb right here and I could set my lanyard and then make a cut. So place your lanyard. Okay, and just say that my plan was to make a cut here. I could do it with two hands. Don't have to one cut, or if I had to stretch out a little more, I could also do that. But now I'm more comfortable because this angle coming this way and this one, this right here, is kind of pulling me toward this branch, and I have complete balance. I'm not going to be rocking or sliding or anything like that. So that's another option once you get a direct and placement of lanyard. Being on the side of the branch sometimes is a really huge thing. So another lanyard that you can use it is, is a two-in-one lanyard. What's neat about a two-in-one lanyard, if, if you needed a little bit of extra rope or to have it centered and to have you in one of those posts that hold you up instead of having your hips in, and push on your hips more of a, like a suspension mode, uh, a two-in-one lanyard where you put the carabiner in the center post and you have one of these pressic eyes you can connect. Sometimes you can even put it further out and it'll give you a better angle, like if you're gonna make a cut out this way, or if you're working with a pole saw and you're getting further from your tie-in. This is also a good option to have. Another option that you can use is the running end of your line. So what I've done is say, you know, I've already done those redirects and I'm already, I'm going further out on the, the branch and I'm heavy and we don't want it to, to fall. If you use the running end and have a climbing system, it's almost like a huge lanyard. Um, it'll help keep you in balance and it'll help you go to the area that you need to go. So what you can do, if you have that set up, take off my lanyard here. I'm just gonna get connected, hang on. All right. And now you can move toward the area that you want to go to and a little bit more secure where you're not gonna, you're not gonna fall. And then let out some slack. There you go. A little bit of slack. So now you can get closer to the cuts that you need to make. And then you, if you felt you feel like you want to be more secure, you could always throw your lanyard in and, and be double tied in. Uh, say if you were doing like a, a chainsaw cut, or if you had to work out toward the ends, this is another option that would help you get into good work positioning. So in work positioning, you have so many different options. And when it comes to trees, there's so many different shapes and strengths of trees. So knowing like a bunch of the different options of or that you have to use to make your work safe is huge. So those are just a few of the things, a high tie in point, redirects, different ways to use your lanyard. Um, and also you can use the running end of your line to use it like a huge lanyard. You know, those are things that you can do to make your job safe. Um, something that I didn't go over was a sling. Sometimes if you have like a loop sling, and you have a real long branch and you need footing, well, those are a great option too. You girth hitch the branch and you put your foot in it so you don't slide back or if it's a vertical to step up to a branch um, that's on a, you know, far out. Those are different ways that will help you. So my hope is that everybody um, is aware of work positioning and learn the ways that it will help you do better out in the field. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.